Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Welcome to the Rock and Review. I'm so thrilled to have Will Ivankovic uh, here living in Nashville, singer, songwriter, guitarist, producer. You do a lot of great things, Will. Oh, well, thank you. You know, and, and you're playing with the Guess Who. Yes, I am. And, and with this current incarnation, I got to tell you, a brand new album out, which is The Future Is What It Used To Be, and I've been listening to this thing a lot, and a lot of great songs on here, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was a labor of love. We did a lot of it at Blackbird Studio in Nashville. Yeah, with my buddy. Well, who's your buddy? Yeah, McBride. Oh, McBride, of course. You know, and it's like, what a great studio. It's an amazing studio, and we did it in Studio A with their big Neve console, yeah. and we purposely tried to make it vintage sounding. Right. Like the classic Guess, Guess Who era. And I think you guys did it. You know, you and I were talking before we came down to the studio. I remember being a little kid, and my dad had, like, you know, the vinyl records of the Guess Who and the eight tracks. And just remember growing up with that. And so while I was listening to the album, I was really, you know, and, and especially on When We Were Young yeah. and some of the tracks and, and Babies Come Around. I mean, all these tracks are so great. Um, it made me think of, you know, the old Guess Who sound. You guys really, it's, it's fresh, authentic rock sound, but you also gave a nod to the vintage Guess Who. Of course. I mean, we are who we are in this configuration of the Guess Who, and it's got its own sound by virtue of the members of the band, and we're very proud of it. And, but in that also, one of the things that makes the Guess Who great are their big um, guitar hooks, right. stacked, you know, chorus Which you guys did a great job on. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and the thank harmonies you. on this thing, man. It's like, you know, to me, and, and you know, and, and my daughter can sing harmony, and I can't sing harmony to save my soul. But it's like, listen to the harmonies you guys got supporting the lead vocals on this. I think that really makes these songs, too. Oh, thank you. We're fortunate enough to have some really gifted singers in the band, so it really helps. You know, it helps out a lot. Well, you know, I wanted to bring up, too, Will, you know, you and I knew each other and didn't even realize it from, uh, you know, when you worked with Tommy Shaw and yep. Jack Blades. And so you played at some of the NAMM shows. Yeah. You know, in yep. the Taylor room and all that. We did. And so you have helped, you know, work on uh, the, the Sticks albums, and you've done a lot of cool stuff, man, with a lot of different bands. Yeah. Um, I um, uh, produced a bluegrass record for Tommy Shaw. And, and you played the Opry. Yes, and we, <laughs> we did a street week here. Wow. And uh, it was amazing how well-received we were for a bunch of rock and rollers playing bluegrass. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun, and we did that, and... Um, we played some of the radio stations around yeah. here, but it was, it was a good time. Well, I'll tell time. you what, you were also very involved in, in an album that I think uh, should have gotten more attention that I really enjoyed was the Shaw Blades album. Okay. Yeah, the Influence record, I came on to, as a um, third guy to tour it. Yeah. They had finished the album, and that's how I met those two guys. So, really? Um, it, Jack Blades had a kind of a blind audition at his house. He said, here's a guitar. Start playing songs. <laughs> we're singing back and forth. No pressure with that. I, no, but I didn't know that it was an audition. He just said, come on over. <laughs> and let's hang out and so at the uh, end of it he said do you want to play with me and tommy and shaw blades and i'm like what wow uh, let me think about that yeah so that was the audition <laughs> yeah that know. was the audition it was pretty cool actually but that's yeah. how i met tommy and and uh and jack and then tommy and i forged a relationship writing and yeah and well, you uh, know and that was also part of what brought you here to nashville then mm -hmm. absolutely tommy had moved here about six years ago and uh, I started to work on Sticks the Mission record yeah. with him, uh, writing it, and and I kind of fell in love with just how awesome Nashville is and yeah. what it's become. You know, I've come here right. for years playing, but um, it had, it's kind of evolved into it's still got a small town feel. Right. A lot of southern hospitality. Well, especially you as a writer, though. Yeah. You know, everybody you know that you would write with is here now. Yep. Yeah. They are. They're people. There's a mass exodus of California musicians, <laughs> much to the chagrin of national natives who call themselves unicorns at this right, point. Right, right. <laughs> but you know what, to me, you know, as a transplant to Nashville also, I like it. You know, I, I like it, you know, that, that you've got this melting pot of musicians and different influences, just like you, you know, growing up and, and playing music and with all the bands and musicians you've been involved with, to me it adds to our music and to the culture here, it makes more people, yeah, it's like, come here, you can write, you can do any genre of music. Yeah. I it's mean, not it's, limited. It's so many influences at this point that it'll be exciting to see what comes next well you know and you've got some other new projects you know i know we've been talking about the guess who and and being on this new album that just released but also you as will ivankovich you have your own projects going you've got a website and everything too right? i do willivankovich.com yeah i've always got stuff brewing i i, I and some things we can't even talk about because uh, they're double secret but they'll be you know if you if you check out will's website and stay with the social coming out this fall and winter you'll probably find out some more new things that you're true. working on there's right? some stuff in the works it's pretty exciting <laughs>
I don't know how you keep it all juggled, Will. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's so much fun. And my family moved out here the um, last couple of years yeah. uh, from California. And so they've been really enjoying you know, getting used to the city. And right. uh, I've, it's just amazing how many cool things you can discover you know, if you oh, look yeah. around. Yeah. So many, well, I also, I thought it was very interesting. You know, your wife came in with you today while you're doing the show. And I thought it was a great way, instead of you know, like buying them like, you know, a shotgun or something else, you helped her buy a J45. Of course. You know, because she's learning guitar, and what budding guitarist does not need a 1964 Gibson J45? That's right, a brand new guitarist. <laughs> I had ulterior motives. I was going to record that thing. <laughs> no, it could have been a Takamini. It could have been any other guitar. No, she no. had to have this beautiful 1964 J45. You know, I, th I think that will impress the guitar teacher when she goes in. Yeah, she did already. Yeah. He was like, what are you doing with that? <laughs> But. Well, you know, and you've been playing Gibsons for a number of years, and you've had a lot of great guitars, but, uh, but uh, you know, you're kind of, you know, using more of the Gibsons on this tour and also on this album, right? Yes. Uh, I love Gibsons. They're like, a, it's like an old pair of jeans. I mean, it's just, yeah. they really are comfortable. They sound great. They're built well. Uh, you, you just, it's not broken. You know, and you they don't sound bad with JHS strings either. No, they don't. And, and, you've, and you've been working with uh, Moody yes. guitar straps for a while. Yep, I just got a couple uh, new Moody straps. Man, I'm and I'm telling you what, I always like seeing them at the NAMM shows because they always have like the best displays. They do. Th and those straps will last you the rest of their, your life. I mean, yeah. they're just, and they're beautiful and they're made from Italian leather. Well, they're you just... know, when you're dragging out a Les Paul, you kind of need a strap that will displace some of the of weight. Of course. So you don't get the Jimmy Page lean. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially the way you're jumping around on stage, yeah, though, man. Yeah. You know, for all the shows and everything you play, you know, with the guess who, obviously, but with your other gigs too, it's like you got to be pretty nimble. Well, I, I just hope I don't sprain my ankle anytime soon. <laughs> getting, I keep doing it and I, yeah. I keep jumping, and hopefully one of these times. Well, you I'm, were saying, you know, that Tommy Shaw's doing the same. It's like, you that's know, that's amazing. And, and he's he does. older than both of us and are still doing he, it. He jumps twice as high as I do. <laughs> it's like he's got spring loaded shoes. I know. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. I know. I know. Well, you know, I just want to make sure everybody, be sure and buy the album, The Guess Who. And, and if you aren't sure, check out some of the singles. Incredible album. And you guys are going to be touring. That's pretty heavy, right? Actually, in about a week, we're going out and doing a bunch of California dates. So we're really excited about wow. that. And uh, hopefully we can hit the South soon. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to well, be Well, I'll tell you what, I, like I said again, I, I enjoyed all the tracks playing on the radio man it's just you know you guys kept the guess who vibe but i think you brought a new modern rock and roll sound to it and i like hearing town musicians out there with the whole band you know and i've known rudy for a lot of years it's like man all you guys are so talented oh, it really brought the album together and and what this is like 30 years since the last major uh, guess who album i mean since a major release it's been since the 70s the yeah. the, the last incarnation of the band from 74 75 with burton cummings um that was probably the mat last major release. Right. Uh, they did something in the early 90s, but this is kind of the official Mark III version, yeah. as, as it were, of the band. And it's available on vinyl, too. Yes. Which oh, sounds yeah. even better on of vinyl. Course. Love vinyl. Now, you guys, if, they, if, uh, if uh, fans go to the website, too, for the guests who, uh, they can get, like, an autographed copy, possibly? Of course they And can. you guys will have them out on tour with, like, yep. the merch table? Absolutely. Yep. Very cool. And then, and then we have to check out your website, too, to find out about those new secret projects uh, you're working on. Of course. On. Yeah, please do. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they are yet, even. They're so secret. Yeah, they're that secret. Well, the one and only Will Ivankovich, you know, check him out on the road with the guests who touring with this awesome new album. And then uh, with the other projects he's got doing, producing other musicians singing, songwriting, guitar, bass, mandolin, uh, never boring, right? I've never. I feel like a circus monkey. <laughs> That's what it takes to make a living. <laughs> and we're so glad you're here in Nashville, uh, well, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Everyone's been so welcoming since, since we got here. We, yeah. just, we love it. It's, it's really, a great city. It is. Well, and awesome. I'll tell you what, it's a great album. The Guess Who, check it out. Brand new album's out now. And catch these guys on tour. Thanks for watching The Rock Interview. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.